Hey Cancers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're about to do a general reading for your sign, okay? This may or may not resonate with all of you. Just take how it applies to if it does, okay? So we're going to go through the main energies first for you and your person, then we'll clarify as well as pull your advice messages from Spirit at the end, all right? So Cancer, you've got the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and also the Three of Wands, and what's grounding this energy is the Sun card, okay? It looks like some of you um, might be missing this person. Yep, I do feel like there's some nostalgic energy here. Um, some of you, this may have to do with a friend or a family member. Some of you may be at a distance from this person or these people as well, but... The Three of Cups is about, you know, reuniting, reconciling, okay, coming together. Some of you maybe you haven't talked to or heard from this person in a while, but it looks like there is love here, okay? But some of you may be feeling a little bit down or sad or disappointed about this situation, okay? And then the Three of Wands represents waiting. So I don't know if you're waiting to hear from them or waiting for some sort of closure here or just missing this uh, person, all right? But if you are feeling a little bit sad, okay, Cancer, I feel like this is temporary energy. You are going to come out of this okay especially with the sun card this is um one of the happiest cards in the deck all right so i feel like things will shift okay for those of you that are feeling a little bit disappointed right now now they've got the seven of pentacles the full card and also the four of pentacles and what's grounding their energy is the page of wands i feel like this person misses you too they might be waiting for you to reach out all right the seven of um, pentacles can also speak about waiting um, and they may want a new beginning here as well with the full card. But the thing is that you're dealing with someone who doesn't really open up enough, okay? Especially with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's kind of holding back. Maybe they're a little bit rigid or stubborn or just kind of difficult in a way, okay? It's hard for you to kind of figure this person out. I feel like they're very attracted to you though, okay? With the Page of Wands being here. But some of you may feel like this person doesn't take this connection seriously enough, okay? Um, or that they're too carefree, too detached at times with that full card, all right, so let's go through and clarify. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and also the Three of Wands for Cancers here. And then over there on the left, you guys, in the past position, we've got the Queen of Cups, the Hermit. Some of you could have been dealing with a Virgo. I also see um, Gemini here, Leo, and Aries. But yeah, there was love in this situation, but somebody decided to um, pull away or pull back. Either you or the other person, all right? Here, please clarify the um, Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and also the Three of Wands for Cancers here. All right, one more. The Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Wands. All right, so we've got the Seven of Swords. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We've also got the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Okay, so... Some of you may have left a third party situation. Yeah, maybe you did have feelings for this person, but you may have felt like this just wasn't a good idea for you to be involved with whoever this is. Okay, so some of you may have walked away or you flat out ghosted this person. However, I feel like there's still some desire here. All right, with this Ace of Wands, you might be really attracted to this person. Some of you may still want a new start with them, but at the same time, you don't really know if you should do this or not. Okay, Cancer, with the Two of Wands being there, this is someone who's kind of at a crossroads. Okay, um, need to make a choice or a decision. So some of you, you don't know if you should stay or go or if you should even um, deal with this person or this situation at all. All right. Some of you may have blocked this person as well as what I'm picking up. Okay, so spirit, please clarify the uh, seven of pentacles, the fool and also the three of pentacles. Sorry, the four of pentacles for cancer's person here. Clarify the um, Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, and also the Four of Pentacles for Cancer's person. All right, so we've got the Four of Cups, also the Star. Some of you, this is an Aquarius, and also the Five of Pentacles, okay? So somebody here is feeling kind of left out, rejected, abandoned, ignored, dismissed, okay? Either you're the other person with this Four of Cups being here. I feel like this person could be going through some sort of mild depression about this situation as well, okay? Or somebody's feeling like this is a missed opportunity, okay? So I don't know if you pulled away or if they did, but I feel like there's a part of them that still uh, still has faith that this can work out with the Star card. This is about having hope in something, okay? So... They might be hoping that you'll um, come back or that the two of you can get back on the same page, but you're dealing with someone, again, who's kind of cold attached here with this five of pentacles, or they just um, may have some issues with opening up about their emotions. All right, you guys, Spirit, please clarify the seven of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, the ace of wands, and also 
the two of wands for cancer if this is resonating feel free to get in the comments and let me know all right spirit clarify the seven of swords the ace of wands and the two of wands all right so we've got the ten of pentacles also the fool okay so some of you are definitely dealing with an aries and the five of wands okay so i don't know if some of you got into it with this person or there was a falling out with the five of wands this can speak about conflict okay people not getting along seeing eye to eye there could be competition involved in this situation or jealousy here um i don't know if it's you feeling this way or the other person all right but um you know despite what you guys have been through with this person i feel like some of you may still want this okay you may want to take a risk here still with the full card but there's another group of you where you're just going to focus on yourself okay cancer and your money money's looking really good for some of you with the ten of pentacles being here so yeah you're trying to um kind of detach from this situation all right but for some of you i feel like this is not completely done okay um unless of course you decide it is all right and some of you again you may have blocked them or you might not really want to deal with whoever this is okay spirit please clarify the uh four of cups the star and also the five of pentacles for cancer's person here clarify the four of cups the star and also the five of pentacles uh, pentacles for cancer's person all right one more all right so they've got the higher fence some of you this is a taurus also the three of cups okay and the five of swords I feel like this person wants to come back together. They do, all right? With the Three of Cups being here, both of you have this, okay? So um, obviously there may have been a separation here if the two of you are wanting to reconcile, okay? So some of you haven't heard from this person in a while, but they do still have love for you. And I feel like they're very attracted to you as well, okay, Cancer, with the Star card being here. But, um, you know, the, the Hierophant can be someone who's a little bit stubborn, stuck in their ways, okay? Someone who wants to always be right, all right? So again, this person could be a little bit difficult as well as with the five of swords being here this can represent manipulation mind games trickery jealousy competition um being involved and the hierophant can also represent someone who's married yeah so some of you i don't know if you're married to this person or if you guys are married to other people but this could certainly be a uh, third party situation for some of you out there all right so let's go around again then we'll pull your advice messages okay so spirit please clarify the ten of pentacles the fool and also the five of wands cancer here clarify the ten of pentacles the fool and also the five of wands all right so we've got acceptance and it says i'm trying to accept that it's time that it is time for me to move on yeah so some of you there's been a breakup or a separation but i feel like you still have feelings for this person some of you do but at the same time you know that maybe you need to move on from this situation we've also got rejection and it says deep down i really feel like you don't want me anymore okay so some of you i don't know if this person left you out in the cold or if you're feeling neglected or ignored by this person or either they may feel like you're doing this to them all right and then we also have uneasy and it says something about this connection doesn't sit right the vibe feels off okay so i don't know maybe this person rubs you the wrong way or um this could be your intuition telling you that something's off with this situation okay cancer but let's pull um their energy again then we'll pull your advice messages spirit please clarify the high priest the three of cups and the five of swords for cancer's person here clarify the high priest the three of cups and the five of swords all right, so we have time and it says too much time is passing. It seems like we don't know each other anymore. Yeah, so some of you, um, there's a lot of distance here between you and this person or they may feel like they've lost you, okay, if you're the one who walked away. And then we've got reconciliation and it says, I want us to get back together or at least maintain contact, right? So um, that makes sense because the Three of Cups did come out before that and that speaks about reconciliation as well, okay? This person, they do miss you, all right? And we've got addictions and it says drugs, alcohol, obsession, narcissism, control issues, and sabotage. Okay, so I don't know if this person behaves this way or if this connection has been kind of toxic for some of you, all right, when it comes to dealing with them. So let's pull your advice messages. These may pertain to this connection, you guys, or it could just be journal advice that Spirit wants to say to you today. All right, just take it if it resonates. Spirit, show me three advice messages that you have for Cancers. 
what three advice messages do you want to say to uh, cancers today? All right, one more. All right, so we have surrender to rest and sleep, and it says to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit, okay? So maybe some of you need to get some rest, all right, guys? We've also got surrender denial, and it says accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions, okay? And we have surrender the drama. It says no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help you resolve the issue more quickly, all right? So that's what came out, Cancers. If this resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? And also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content, all right? Wish you guys the best. Take care.